Welcome to Lab 12, Oscillating Meter Stick and Pendulum. In Lab 12, we will be measuring the period of several systems sketched here. However, for this overview, I shall only be talking about the unfamiliar system, the hanging meter stick. Following the lab's instructions, we have something that resembles this, where a meter stick is hanging partially off a table. A mass has been placed onto the meter stick, and it has sagged to a new position. We shall call this new position the equilibrium position, and we shall measure the displacement from the initial position to the equilibrium position, being sure to measure from the same point on each side. It doesn't matter particularly which point, just be consistent. Afterwards, we will apply a force to the meter stick, causing it to oscillate around the equilibrium position. To predict the period of the meter stick, we will need to find what is known as the spring constant. The spring constant represents how much this meter stick, in this case, resists moving from the equilibrium position. And we shall find k, the spring constant, using a force relationship. Uh, here we find two forces that are acting on the meter stick, one due to gravity, and one that has k wrapped up into it. So we'll just write these out. Now, when there's no force applied from someone else to make it oscillate, the meter stick is resting. And so we have the force due to the springiness of the meter stick. Posed by the force due to gravity, and a simple rearranging of these terms will allow you to find k. Then, using the equation given to you on the prelab, you will be able to predict the period of the meter stick. Now, we must be careful of how we count these oscillations for our measured value for the period. A period is the time it takes for the system to move from an initial position back to the initial position. So if a given oscillation starts counting at zero with in, in this state, a half period is when it moves all the way across the, the equilibrium position to an opposite point, and then back to its original point is a full period. So to reiterate, if we start counting here, we do not count to 1 until we have returned here. It is also important that we count time properly 
if we stop a stopwatch at say 20 seconds and the meter stick or whatever system has undergone 20 oscillations uh, these numbers are completely arbitrary by the way then the period of the meter stick or other system is total time divided by the number of oscillations. In this case, one second per oscillation, exactly as we expect. So keep this in mind when making your measurements in lab. Finally, we account for error in our measurements. Our relevant measurements in this lab would be the displacement of the meter stick to its equilibrium position. And this will carry over into the spring constant, which will in turn carry over to the period of the meter stick that we predict. We also have an error, as usual, in keeping time for our measured period. Other than that, there is no new way we are manipulating these errors.